Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna be riding Balboa Skate Park and I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to throw a Bry Buttercup. I learned it just one year ago and would say I'm pretty good at it. I can get it within a few tries. Uh, one of the first double overheads I ever landed. It's one of the easiest in my opinion and that's why I'm making this video for you guys so uh, you guys can progress your way in scootering. Yeah, I have a... Uh, I have a GoPro, so I'm gonna get a POV shot. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. I'll also guide you guys with my phone. Got the Fusion Whip, yes sir. We're out here, Daly City. The park is just on the other side of that. What's up guys, I'm going to be talking over the Bright Butter footage and telling you guys some tips and tricks. I'll break it down into three categories. First, you have your takeoff, and then you have um, how you're pulling the trick, and then you have your landing. When you're throwing the Bright Butter around, um, as you can see in the clip, I take my arms and I sweep them underneath me as quick as possible. I'm pulling with all my might underneath me. If you don't have tall quarters near you, you can see on this quarter, I am taller. I'm taller than this quarter pipe. So I'm not able to get as much air as I would want, but it still doesn't stop me from being able to do the trick because of how quick I throw it. Practice snapping. So you guys can go on flat ground and practice the motion. Practice throwing the bry, not bringing your bars all the way down to like regular riding position, but to snap them up again. You want to activate your core as much as possible to not have your scooter throw you in an opposite direction from where you want to be. Part of that uh, takes just working out, getting stronger. If you guys are able to land a bry double whip or a whip butter cup or butter whip, you can get bry butter around. You need to work on your your strength and your motion um so basically just copy what i do in this video play the play this and play this part in slow-mo back and really just analyze how i keep my body as still as possible and uh force my arms um back up as quick as possible to get the buttercup around you know with every trick you need to be landing two feet you need to be committing um 100% of the time as long as you can get it around and to guide your way from just throwing the trick to landing it you can stick your leg out as far as possible to try and get your toes on the deck try and get at least a foot if you can get a foot doesn't matter if you're putting your your other leg super high on the quarter it means that like you're creating that mind muscle memory on how to actually commit to it so that way when you do end up getting stronger and uh, more efficient at throwing the trick, you'll be able to commit to two feet easier. And once, you, once you're there, once you have it, keep your feet together, land on the deck, have knee pads, all that. Um, but first, what stopped me from learning it earlier was I had steel bars and I had a tilt SES. That alone adds a bunch of unnecessary pounds to your scooter. After you practice after a while, it's gonna start becoming natural when you're throwing it around. And uh, one day, you know, come with the homies, get hyped up and send it to two feet. 
the rest of the footage is just me session with the GoPro. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys learned a tip or two and hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Just got done riding Balboa. It was lots of fun. Um, I actually learned uh, how to get my back blunts and front blunts on lock. Um, I was getting them super consistent back to back and I also got my flares clean. Just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you guys learned a tip or two about landing bright butter. Let me know if you guys like these consistent posts and yeah, I'll be sure to be posting more from now on. This is the longest I think I've ever grinded on YouTube. I hope I keep it up because because I really want this to work out and I'm putting a bunch of effort into it. So I don't know, I'm gonna try my hardest. My motivation's at an all time high and hopefully it stays like that. Thank you guys for the continued support and if you guys like this video, make sure to go watch some of my other videos. On the screen, I have my most recent video I uploaded and my most recommended for you. So if you guys like this video, I'm sure you'll like those as well. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.